This video today is going to be how to correctly apply the Kodak 2383 LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's something that I had problems um, doing coming across from Premiere Pro. Um, so I thought I'd make a video in case you was having the same issues and coming across the same problems that I was. Um, so in my color page at the moment, I've got some FX3 footage which was shot in S-Log3. So doing this using the, the color space transform, what I was doing before, I was dragging, a dro dragging and dropping a color space transform onto the node. I was then taking it from s gamma 3cine which is what I was shooting in, and I was shooting in S-Log3. And what I was doing, I was taking it into Rec 709, Gamma 2.4, Gamma 2.4. I was then option S, adding a node, coming across to my Kodak LUTs, trying to apply the LUTs and being left with a horrible overdone image that just does not look pleasing to the eye. So the incorrect way, which is what I was doing, which you might possibly be doing, is coming down to the key output, turning down the gain and trying to trying to dial in a correct look for this LUT. Now that is not the correct way that these LUTs work. So if we reset all the LUTs, I will show you the correct way to apply these LUTs. So you wanna to come to your effects, you wanna drag and drop a color space transform onto the node. You want to take in S gamma 3cine and S log 3 or whatever format log you were shooting in. Now what you want to take out, you want to take out Rec 709, but the output gamma, instead of being gamma 2.4, it wants to be cine on film log. Now that's what these LUTs are expecting. What they don't tell you is they're expecting a color space of Rec 709 and an output gamma of cine on film log. Now when we apply that, close down our effects. If we option S, add another node, when we come across now to our LUTs, we apply that LUT, we are left with a nice looking image shown here, which you can then adjust accordingly. Now that is the correct way to apply the LUTs in DaVinci Resolve.